there are so many different payment method your customers can use to check out on your Shopify store. They can either use credit card, debit card, or even PayPal. Hey guys, happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to add a PayPal payment method on your Shopify store. That way, if you don't have a PayPal um, payment method on your Shopify store, your customer will be able to use it because I am going to be showing you how to add it. Um, so that way, you can give your customer different uh, methods to choose from you when they are checking out from your store. So if you want to know how to add a PayPal method on your Shopify store, then stick around until the end of this video. But don't forget to like this video subscribe for more video like this and let's jump in today's tutorial so as you can see right now i am on the back of my shopify admin page and i am going to show you how you can add your shop your paypal payment method so let's go to the settings down here and in here on the setting you can pick like so many different things you want to um customize or set them up uh, for today, we are going to do uh, PayPal payments. So let's select payments. And as you can see here, Shopify has so many different payment method. Um, so if you want to activate Shopify payments like credit, debit card, and other method, uh, make sure to watch the tutorial. That I will link the video on this video here. Uh, uh somewhere around here on top of the screen so you can know how to add other different shopify method but in today's video i am going to show you how you can add paypal and if we scroll down here you can see here uh paypal is supported by um by um, Shopify so to complete a, your Shopify PayPal account setup you need and start receiving payments um, or pay out from your PayPal you need to complete account setup so to do that we have to click here complete account setup so let's click that and and then um, when you get on this page here this is the PayPal Express checkout so we're gonna have to complete um, the setup so this is the email that is connected with the account so if you want to use this account this gmail then you can go for it and you can activate your uh, account um but if you don't want to use this uh, gmail then you can edit it and select a new email address that you want to use but make sure you use the email address that you know that you'll be using it because that email will be connected with your uh, paypal account that way you can finish a com um a setup so to do that let's click here complete setup so you can see here there's a message like a paypal account has been created with an email which is this one you will need to log into paypal with these um, email address to complete your account setup so let's click here complete setup and this will will bring us straight to the paypal account page so we're gonna have to put the email address that we use uh, to connect uh, the paypal account from shopify so i'm going to type in my email so john salvador at gmail.com and then of course i am located in united states so you have to select a country where you are basically located and where you'll be running your business okay and then once you selected your region or country click next and then you're going to create a password so create a password that you are going to use um when you are logging in so i am going to type in the password Okay, and then after that, I am going to click next. And then here you're going to add more information. You're going to tell PayPal about your business and then they'll confirm your information. Um, so to keep your account secure and safe. So first, you're going to have to put your first legal name, your legal last name, uh, your business name, uh, your phone number, the business address, and then you are going to agree and um, stuff like that. So I am going to add everything. Okay. 
okay so once you added everything your name your store name your phone number and your business address then click here um, you agreed and you also give permission to Shopify to perform the necessary action to integrate your PayPal and stuff like that and then after that click agree and then PayPal will be creating your account so it can be ready to be used okay and then the next step you are gonna have to describe your business so you can click there and select a business type either you're doing partnership corporation non-profit organization or as an individual or a sole proprietor so you can click that and also you're gonna have to provide the product or service or, or a, what, what kind of product are you going to offer women accessories and what are your monthly sales so you can pick what is your monthly sales so you can pick um, which ranges um, you are uh, for your business so I'm just gonna pick that and it's optional to add your website so you can either add your website or not and then click next and there you are paper will ask you more um, information so over here you are gonna have to put your social security number date of birth um, your address zip code and then you're going to click submit once you're done setting up everything then you'll be good to go so basically um for social security number this is for those who are uh, doing their business like in the usa and stuff like that not everybody will be required to add the social security number um so this is why it was very important for you to select a country uh when we were setting up the account uh, on the previous step to put where you're planning to run your business so the social security number this is for irs because they required uh they require paypal to ask you for your social security number so they can use these to get your account verified but also prepare a tax form that you can use during the tax time season comes um so you're gonna have to fill your social security number your date of birth uh, your home address and everything and click submit and this will be your last step on um, creating your PayPal account and that account will be connected here um, in Shopify and you'll be good to go from there so once a PayPal um, verified your information and that your social security number is true and everything is true and that you are the person that you're saying who you are then your account will be connected with PayPal and your customer Customers will be able to check out with paper when they purchase things from your store so yeah guys this is it for today's video I hope you liked today's tutorial if you do please give me a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more video like this and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial